G'day and thanks for clicking on the video. This is a quick video about portable camping battery boxes. These are three of the boxes that I've made over the years and we use them when we go camping to power things like our USB lighting. In addition to that they're used to power our shower and also to provide lights inside the shower tent. These boxes are a great way to get power away from your main campsite. They're easy to make and they can be a lot of fun as well. All three of these boxes are recharged using a cigarette lighter attached to an Anderson plug. And that Anderson plug you can connect to your regulated solar panels and you can also connect it to your 240 charger. So it's quite easy to charge all three of them. The silver box doesn't have any USB sockets on it, so just a simple adapter like you see there enables you to charge all those USB devices, both the plastic green battery boxes have built-in USB chargers. This one here is the first one I made, probably about eight years old now, and it's just a simple box made out of plywood, a bit of paint screwed together, and two of those flush-mounted cigarette sockets screwed onto the side. This one's been in the water plenty of times, but an obvious issue with it is the fact you've got to remove all the screws to actually get to the battery. This can be a pain in the neck sometimes, particularly if you're blown a fuse and you're out at the campsite. Inside the box, we've just got a 12 volt, 7.2 amp hour battery with a single fuse going to the two cigarette sockets. This one's by far the easiest and the cheapest to make. The next one is the ammo box one. You'll see plenty of these on YouTube and it has all the usual features with voltmeter, cigarette lighters and USB. Each of these battery boxes has at least two cigarette lighters for the shower. So one for the pump and one for the lights. On this one I've also included two of the banana jacks just for putting them in there. No particular reason at all. Inside you see the battery with a fuse, two bits of wood to hold the battery in place and then all the wires piggybacked onto the sockets. This particular one's quite expensive to build, probably $120. So you just have to be careful, the costs don't run away with you. The next battery box was an attempt to build a cheaper version. This is made out of a case from an old cordless electric drill. So as you can see here, it has the usual features. So we have the USB port, as well as a voltmeter, and the standard two cigarette lighters. I've also added to this one a light at the front of it. So you have a switch along the top for easy access, and then an LED light on the front. This particular one is powered by a 12 volt battery, 7.2 amp hours, which is quite light and makes this a very handy unit. This is probably the most favorite one and the one that gets the most use. This particular case is quite hardy and is weatherproof and has been left out in the rain more than once. So this is just the insides. You can see where we've cut the space for the battery and it's been zip tied in so it doesn't move around. These battery boxes are great fun to make. They're quite easy with a few basic tools and a little bit of 12 volt knowledge. You can make one as well. I'll just add a clip at the end 
that shows one of these battery boxes powering one of our camp lights. Thanks for watching the video.